Hey everybody, Preston Black here. I have some really fun news for everybody. The first you may have already noticed is that this episode came out on a Saturday. That's because from now on we're going to be adding Saturday to our weekly schedule. So you're going to get three episodes of Preston Can't Play every week. And extra fun news, as much as I know you love week after week after week of just Super Mario World, Saturdays are going to be a completely different game. So today we're going to start off with an episode of Super Adventure Island. Extra fun news, this episode has a special guest. The downside is that while we were recording, the video kind of lagged and cut out, so I only got about an episode and a half worth of content that I can actually put up. Because my special guest lives out of town, we weren't able to redo it. So I hope you really enjoy the extra long episode that I have for you today next saturday preston can't play is going to be back with a whole new game and even more fun news enjoy Okay. Hello there, everybody. Uh, this is Preston Black, and welcome to Preston Can't Play. Today we are playing... <laughs> did you not know that that's I didn't the... know that. Yes, the name of the channel is Preston Can't Play. This is going to be good. Yeah, uh, so today, you've already seen, we are playing Super Adventure Island. I am here today with my very good friend, Phil Verdusco. Hello, TV land. Not on Hi. TV. Oh, Hi. hello, YouTube land. <laughs> um, are those my jumps? What's yeah. going on? So, um, I'm can... losing. Oh, is that energy? <laughs> yeah. So the, this ba <laughs> basically, so the way that this works is your time bar and your health bar are the same. So time is gonna, yeah, time is gonna continually run out, and you have to grab a fruit to refill it. But if you get hit by an enemy, it'll kind of jump down. And now you're on a skateboard. This is radical, as the kids would say. Yeah. Uh, uh, nah. uh, okay. Well, things are. Ooh, you can. Ooh, look at him. We can manual. Yeah. Uh, now you whoa. should be able to. Uh, if you hit up, you should be able to throw your items upward. Oh, you lost. <clears throat> I used to play this game so much when I was a kid. Hey, you did it. Hey, I did it. <laughs> I used to play this game so much when I was a kid, um, and it's really hard. Later on, not so hard. Oh, it's, okay. The, I'm glad you added that. The controls are kind of weird to get used to, um, but later on, it, it does actually get genuinely challenging. I'm I'm at this in between where I don't know what's gonna harm harm me and what isn't. Assume everything is going to harm. Oh me. no, that's no good. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, this this is very much like a trial by error <laughs> kind of situation. Uh, what's, what's, what was that thing that you were talking about, conveyance? I don't know. Oh, and one of his, oh god! Oh, how, like, the game teaches time. you? Right, yeah, right. Yeah. Before, like, really puts you through the ringer. Yeah, this is a pretty early title for the Super Nintendo, um, and it was maybe the third or fourth in a series. <laughs> <clears throat> that, um... Uh, that happened. <laughs> and these are, these are NES games, um, that I had already played. And then they, you know, like they did. Oh, yeah, super jump. I'm what? What? Yeah. So if you like hit, if you crouch and then jump, you get that kind of like super jump. I was try, I was trying to remember how to do that so I could tell you, and it took until I got the controller in my hand to remember. I'm sorry. Fair enough. Muscle memory. Yeah. Ah. Ne never. Uh. Uh. In my playing of this game, which has been an entire like two minutes. Was I taught or led to believe <laughs> right, they that don't, a crouch jump? <laughs> there's no reason. That it, at no point do they ever communicate that to you. Later in the game, there are going to be jumps that require you to figure it out. So it's just, like I said, like a lot of trial by error with no like oh. tutorial at all. I used to be able to like pound through this game so fast. Um, but I have not played it in a very long time. I'll see... How well I do. <laughs> is he like a Toomba? I don't know. What is you, that? You, a Toomba. You know, like the things that clean your carpet and roam around? A Roomba. Sure. Is this... <laughs> is, are you asking if this if this man is a Roomba? No. This white guy? <laughs> <laughs> really? Okay. Whose name is Master Higgins. Really? Yes, his name is Master Higgins, for your information. 
master of nature or master of high jumps? Uh, master just, of, um, just of radicalness. Being like a a white guy who just hangs around in the jungle all the time. There you and go. And like a leaf sort of uh, situation. Oh. Shit. All right. Here. Oh, you you did it. I I didn't. You got the dead. Yeah. Oh god. I'll try again. Yeah. I was looking for Tumba, but. Ha ha! I feel victorious. There's no run button. This gives me anxiety. No, there's no run button. No. Oh shit, we did it. <laughs> hey Preston? Yeah. This is a group effort. Yeah. It's yeah, very much. It's also Where extremely is? frustrating. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, and completely ridiculous. Oh yeah. And there's like secret fruit hidden in the air that you have to hit with your you can hit with your uh, with which, your weapon there. Which I saw in the preview. Yeah. And oh. yeah, ooh. That's that's Tumba. Check that out. Oh, that's Tumba. Totally, dude. No, he's not. No, oh. that guy's like a cartoon of a like a oh. an indigenous person. This guy is. I mean, he's wearing a baseball cap. <laughs> Good point. Oh, like a, a middle-aged fat white guy. <laughs> oh, are you? Decided he wanted to move to the jungle and like bang island babes, basically. That's like uh, Into the Wild, right? Isn't that exactly what Into the Wild is? The film Into the Wild? Yeah. I don't know. I've I mean, never seen that. I bet Eddie Vedder made yeah. the music for this as well. Sound this? It does sound like Eddie Vedder. Right. Those rocks make no sense. To me. Like, <coughs> oh no! I stubbed my toe. Yeah. Yeah. And this is basically like the same exact like level structure and like mechanics as the NES games that came before it. Including the skateboard and the roots <laughs> and the for no reason rocks. I I my brain processed that as good for nothing rocks. And the <laughs> and the poor uh, the poor play control as well. Yeah. Oh. oh <clears throat> uh, there's maybe a bit of a delay. A slight delay, or maybe I don't know. Just... Uh, well, it's just he. Um... The reaction. Yeah, I guess a delay is sort of the right word. There is a bit of like a reaction when you're moving, and he like slides around a little bit. Oh. He's constantly in motion. Got All right, oh, here's is our this first. A... <gasps> this is our first boss. Holy crap! And sure enough, it's creepy. Yeah. Those ghosts don't look too happy, and they're vampiric too. Oh, Rad. hey, there you go. You're like a drop of water. Whoa. -ho. Or sperm. I mean, you know. <laughs> they are a little bit spermy. <laughs> there. Oh, there it is. Merp. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. <clears throat> sure. Cool. Well, with that uh, stage in the bag, we're going to wrap up this first episode of Press It Can't Play. Uh, thanks for tuning in. And uh, we were uh, going to continue this uh, next time. So, here we go. <coughs> Should I pick up? Yeah, you Okay. Hello, everybody. Hey there, and we are back with another episode of Preston Can't Play. Preston Black here, alongside Phil Verdusco. Hello. Um, it's a skateboard. Yeah. Yes. So Phil's just visiting sort of for the weekend uh, here in Seattle. How are you liking Seattle, Phil? Oh, man, I don't want to leave. <laughs> it's not fair. Oh, I lost my skateboard. Speaking of things that aren't fair. <laughs> um, so you live in Berkeley right now. Yeah, that's right. And um, how are you? How do you feel about that? How's Berkeley? Lovely. Oh, that was a cheap shot. That's never been a thing. Oh, yeah, they come at you from all directions. This guy's an asshole. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah. That, I, wow. <laughs> I love Berkeley. Uh, it's, I mean, coming from Los Angeles, uh, there's a wonderful community uh, in Berkeley. People talk to you, and it's, you know, not out of the norm to strike up conversation with strangers. So, hey, and I can, I've uh, <laughs> admittedly walked through the streets drunk out of my ass to home in the wee hours of the night, you know, with, with no concerns of 
of any wrongdoing coming at me. So that's... Oh, that's so tricky. That little penguin is, like, gaining on you ever so slow. Oh, ah. no! Yeah, he's there. He's ready. Ready for me to screw up. That was such a setup. I got through it anyway. <clears throat> Just uh, pretty safe. Yeah. Oh, okay. it's... It's, uh... Different from what I'm used to. And that's good, you know? I, <laughs> I love it. Uh, other than that... Um... Seattle looks like... The place for... For a guy like me. Um... There's no rain here today. Um... I'm sure everyone maybe holds, like... The same perspective of... At least those who haven't been here. Of... It's always raining in Seattle and whatnot. But, yeah, You guys have been lied to. Let me tell you. <laughs> um, it's all sunshine and rainbows today. Um... And it's been like that for like the three days that I've been out here. So, yeah, no, it's a lie. The, the cake is a lie, everyone. <laughs> what, um, what was your, like, expectation of what Seattle was going to be like before you got here? I, uh, before, before I kind of, uh, looked up the weather. Shit! Like, Whoa! Whoa. Ooh, wow, good dodge. There, that was gunning right for you. No! No! I was expecting the last one to come right out. Yeah, I know, me too. Think you're in the clear, are ya? <laughs> um, I was expecting, you know, overcast, severe wind chill, um, light rain. And it's a fucking whale. <laughs> <laughs> and some of that. Oh, no. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> I like this, the music. Oh, the music in this game is great. It's grooving. It's got that, like, Skinamax softcore porn feel going on. It sure. does! You are, you're right about that. I never really, uh, I've never really heard that, but now that you point it out, <laughs> I absolutely agree. <clears throat> this, this, this midi sex is very, <laughs> very much reminiscent of, like, DKC. Um, oh, wait, that's it, though. Yeah, this... The rest of this game really has, like, kind of, kind of like, islandy music. Okay. And then they just, for some reason, when you're inside the belly of the whale, they pull out the, like, early 90s R&B. <laughs> there's, yeah, there's definitely a, um, an intimate, uh, <laughs> screen that we're on right now. Fish, it looks like it was, uh... Not in the best mindset, look at it. Oh yeah, he's he's got some troubles. Oh man. <clears throat> nah. Nah. <laughs> I'm looking for my family. <laughs> Can you help me? <laughs> oh no, I hope we see another one. Another eel? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure we will. Oh, there's so much dialogue. <laughs> I just wanna know what's going on with that eel. Yeah. Is he okay? <laughs> Maybe, uh, ate, ate the wrong kelp, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and things escalate. Yeah. Oh, it's a boss! Yeah, though, like, the worlds uh, in this game are not super long. They're just, like, one or two levels. Oh, hey, that's, that's good. There you go. Yeah, and, um... Basically, like the key to this game is so as you you get the your like hatchet and you got your boomerang yeah. for weapons. Every time you pick one up, it powers up. If you can get it to the point where it just turns into fire like that, you're basically just gonna roast um, every boss in like 30 seconds. So, so you're the a wizard. Yeah. So then, like the uh, I don't. So here's what I understand. We're we're after that like little orcish kind of fellow who mm -hmm. stole our girlfriend. Right. Why aren't we just taking our... a giant parrot... Our, right, that <laughs> feral creature. To, um... to where he's at, rather than... Also, we have a giant parrot, so why were we taking, like, a little canoe out onto the ocean? Right. And of all things... Why... God damn it. Whoa! Uh, Whoa! Shit. That's horse shit. Here you go. Some of these characters kind of remind me of, like, the Kirby cast. Yeah. Yeah, it's... It kind of has that, like, where did you come up with this kind yeah. of feel. 
Oh shit, oh yeah. shit, that's the thing. Oh Jesus! Yeah, this level is all about the, uh, the high jump, for sure, but just, you gotta be careful, because there's always gonna be something waiting for you. Ah, oh, you little fuck. Ah! That's right. <laughs> oh man, I'm so paranoid about these things! <laughs> this is the, this is... <laughs> The vertical stages are the ones that, and there's another one too. Oh, like cha, cha, cha. Dude, is there fall damage in this game? Um, no, but I mean, the more you fall, the more your time is gonna run out because you've already grabbed the fruit. Oh, sure, that makes sense. Oh, cha, cha, cha. So there's just the no scope. Yeah, there's <laughs> there's definitely a penalty for falling back oh. in that you have very little time to actually complete the level. 